Today I'm going to talk with you about some number sense routines that are perfect for the beginning of the year that will really make an impact on the number sense of your students. The one I'm going to talk about today is called Which One Doesn't Belong? Now if you watch Sesame Street then this might sound somewhat familiar to you. They had a little song and everything and so it said which one of these is not like the others? Which one of these doesn't belong? So there are four images and your students have to figure out which one of these four don't belong. And this number sense routine is perfect for the beginning of the year because it gets your students thinking critically and creatively. They can practice talking to other students in like an academic conversation type style, and there are no wrong answers. This is the best thing about which one doesn't belong because it really gives your kids the opportunity to talk about their thinking, agree or disagree respectfully, take turns, like that kind of thing at the beginning of the year when you really want to start to create a community of mathematicians, of students doing math and respecting each other's opinions and really listening to each other, especially when it comes into things that are starts to be more difficult, like new content, problem solving, that kind of thing. Having this as a foundation is going to really serve you in the long run as you start your new year with your new students. So what even is a number sense routine? So number sense is something that a lot of people talk about that your students need, but don't really talk about how you would get number sense or how you would develop number sense. So number sense is kind of like something that you chip away at little by little, like it's a compounding. So if you're doing all of these little things together as a whole, all of these things build on top of each other and help your kids become really flexible with numbers and really creative mathematicians. So a number sense routine is something that you do every day, like it says a routine, that will help your students develop certain areas of number or certain concepts. So numbers, so this number sense routine, like I said, is perfect for the beginning of the year, starting out creating an environment where students are valued. They know that their opinions matter and that everyone's opinions are valid if we're working towards the same goal. How do you do a which one doesn't belong number talk? So this is really simple. You find four images and then you put them up and then you stu give students time to think about which one of these things doesn't belong. Now, there's always some students who will raise their hand right away. Like they're like, oh, I know, I know, I know. And this can be discouraging to some of the other students who might need more think time. So something that I like to do when I'm doing a number talk is let the kids know that if they have their answer, they're ready to t talk about their answer and explain why, that they can give me a quiet thumbs up here, which helps because the other students aren't seeing like the waving hand and get discouraged, but the other kids are letting you know, like, I am ready. And something else you can do with that is if they're like, oh, I'm ready, but I really want to raise my hand too, like we do both, you can start to have them think about other things or other options for this number sense routine. So maybe they thought the answer was A, they're like A is the answer, but if they're given more time to think about it, they might say, well, I think it's A, but it could also be B or maybe even C. So they can start to think about what their, fir an their first answer was and their justification, and then maybe show you another finger and another finger, letting you know that, okay, I have this answer, but I also have this answer ready and this answer ready. So kids who are just quicker to think about things have an opportunity to keep thinking and keep going. And students who might need a little more time don't feel the pressure from other students raising their hands to get started. So first off, you show the slide or the images that you're going to use for which one doesn't belong. And then we have our thumbs up. And then at this point would be a perfect time to work on your academic conversation routines. So you might be doing turn and talk in your room. So your kids would be practicing. Who are they turning to? Do they have different partners for different things? So you would have them turn and talk to their partner and then really discuss, I thought it was this one and I thought it was this one. So you can have them just like partner A, it's your turn and then partner B, you go. Or you can have them both say their answer and then go back and say, why? That's the big thing. Why do you think that this is the answer? So for example, if I had, let's quit, so if I had Batman, Batgirl, Robin, and Wonder Woman, then those are my four, the kids would have to figure out which one is which. So one student might say, oh, well, it's Wonder Woman because she doesn't belong in the Batgirl universe, or she's not, like, they're not in the Batman universe. Or they might say it's Robin because all of the other ones are, like, 
superhero superheroes and Robin is the sidekick. So there's lots of different things that you can do there and a really great way to pull them in if you choose things that they recognize. But if you're not choosing things that they recognize, they're just making it a little more mathematical, you can do tons of things. You can use dice and 10 frames. You can use different things that they're counting. There's The possibilities are really endless with which doesn't belong. And it really gives your kids a opportunity to be really creative in, in their thinking and not be so concerned with having the right answer or the wrong answer because there is no wrong answer. Once they really get into it, you can even kind of have an extension of this activity. So what I mean by that is have some kind of recording sheet where your students have the opportunity to come up with their own which doesn't belong. So they can pick their four pictures and they can draw them and kind of try and stump the other kids be like which one do you think doesn't belong. Um, it's great for like an early finishers or morning work. You can have them do that and actually take pictures of their work and then include their work in your slides for the next number sense routine. It'll really get them like motivated to try and come up with their own which doesn't belong. Something that you can also consider when doing a which doesn't belong is including sentence strips or sentence stems or sentence starters to support your learners who might need that. It might be because they're in a language learner, maybe because they're just not really confident speaking in front of lots of people yet, if that's the case. Those are the, some things you can do to differentiate. That way, if you're sharing out, so when you share out with the whole class, you could almost tally what they're doing, or if they just wanna say one thing, they can say they can follow the sentence structure and feel like they're still participating and kind of build up that confidence without being completely thrown in the deep end. And that gives an opportunity for um, classroom discussion if you're noticing that some kids that more kids are picking one than the other one you can talk about why that might be and also point out that even though this is the majority all of the answers were valid especially if you can say i think it was this because this and nobody's gonna change my mind or tell me different that's fine too that there's value in everybody's thinking which one doesn't belong like i said is one of my favorite number sense routines it's not really a lot of prep the kids can really get into it and really start to create a community where kids feel valued, seen, and that their opinions are valid and important. So let me know if which one doesn't belong is something that you want to try. I have all of this written out in a blog post as well as linked to some which doesn't belong slides that you might want to use in your classroom. So until then, I will see you next time.